नमस्कार न्यूज क्लिक में और इंडियन कल्चरल फोरम में आपका बहुत स्वागत है आज हमारे साथ खास मेहमान हैं सईद मिर्जा जिनका परिचय देना जरूरी नहीं है उनकी अभी अभी किताब आई है हम उसके लॉन्च पे कल थे आपने वो प्रोग्राम जरूर देखा होगा आज हम बातचीत करेंगे उनकी किताब उनकी दोस्ती कुंदन शाह के साथ और आज की पॉलिटिक्स के बारे में सईद मिर्जा साहब थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग न्यूज क्लिक एंड इंडियन कल्चर फोरम टूडे सो फर्स्ट थिंग योर बुक इज अबाउट फ्रेंडशिप friendship with a very famous man from a time when you were both not famous so were you always alike were you very unlike each other kuch convergence the how was that how similar were you i think we were completely dissimilar we were just unlike each other and i it's that's and that's that's a strange part of our friendship i couldn't imagine that i would ever get to be so close to a person who's so completely different from the way i think the way i see a world the way i i don't know anything you said he was not uh, he could not see politics in everything i know in fact he is here he, when you we in film school that's when i met him for the first time he is about the politics what to do with cinema you know cinema is, is cinema that's it and don't call it entertainment or anything it's cinema is cinema it's free it's an, it's an open thing it's and uh so i don't like these discussions on you know marxism anarchism you know and uh, discussing his discussion on the aesthetics but the man was so completely different and i come from, from a background which i know a very political background so now we how do you meet each other our books were so completely the books that we read were so completely different the way we saw the world was so different. but over time you could see that his reading habits were changing and the kind of books that he was reading now is a little more and the kind of film that he was seeing that the fbi provided he had no choice to be be sucked in very gradually into this like it's like a vortex that pulls you in and uh, and by the end of the three years he was a different human being but having said that he still had this independent streak inside him to break free from any 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 dogma that could you know try to impose on uh, to impose um, to, and on on a cinema and when i saw his final film uh diploma film i was shocked because yeah i thought it was a guy who was who was a nerd you know when he was lack of any imagination and he came up with such an incredible gem of a piece of film cinema and the tragedy was i was we was at the last film we shake hands we say goodbye to each other and we go our different ways you know right and to yahi tha ke we shook hands the best of luck etc i loved your film kundan you did yes yeah i did i loved it i think it's fantastic so thank you and we parted i went to mumbai he pushed up at this three <laughs> two colleagues to hyderabad he you know he thought you know he can't take the city with you know right you can name those two people uh, yeah i uh, because i it, <laughs> they they both passed away they both passed away and uh, perhaps one would it would be better right. to leave them their names outside of it to so, hyderabad guy or fir i went to mumbai to make doing my work and making my first film and i just completed it when i heard the news that kundan cha had even left hyderabad and he got married aur apni biwi ke sath vilayat gaye he quit making films mujhe ab tak yaad hai when i heard that news he was four or five hours sitting in my home in the office I just wanted to thought what a waste. There was talent there you know that I saw my god you know and he's going to go away and become a, a trader you know. It didn't happen that way of course. He came back. He came back he had to like destiny. So so it, you you know destiny now even in our country there there are friendships which are breaking up there are families which are divided because of you know the kind of politics 
again over politics. Yeah. Uh, do you think that these can they can be a fresh, uh, different kind of friendship between these two polar opposites which are forming through our politics? Like you and Kundan Shah? No, but then the thing was Kundan Shah when he went to England. <clears throat> It's there when you deal with racism and you deal with the cold, you deal with limited resources and you start looking at things in a different kind of way and suddenly you start picking up books on what is racism really all about? What is colonialism all about? What is history all about? And suddenly you automatically are swept into what is called basically leftist literature. And Kundan got hit over there. And then uh, he started changing because he saw, and then the, I, you know, there's a quote in the book which says the nicest thing about, the only nice thing about South Hall was that it has gangs, Pakistani gangs and Indian gangs and they get together when, the, when they take on the whites. Right. And it's something that struck him and he, he tried to decode his life then from that particular moment of time, the man was hungry for more to know more about the world. And when he came back, the kind of books that he bought, the film that he saw, and his engagement with politics was absolutely like he was, he was hungry to, you know, like he'd, he'd lost out on something. And having experienced Abs racism. And, and through that, the politics of it, you know. Right. Uh, you know and then from there, you, see, you are automatically drawn into all kinds of things. Color, gender, you know, all kinds of things that happen. And um, he was sucked into it and then he was so hungry for information, he felt he had been left behind. So then next thing you know, he's reading Marx and Lenin and Ho Chi Minh and Tariq Ali and Noam Chomsky, and what is that? Edward Said. But sucked in and also on aesthetics, the need for it, the kind of aesthetics on art on history, you know, all kinds of things. So then, in other words, he came very close to where I was at. You know, and then we became friends, partners. Uh, and he, the classic part, that's inevitable. The thing is, he heard in England, that Saeed is starting his second film. And he tells his wife, Bakul, I think you'll give me a job if you go back. And she, of course, supported him. Let's go back. Because she knew, she knew he was miserable. So, he came back. And, uh, yeah, he entered the house. And, uh, he got a job. And he worked with me in Albert Pinter. That was his first job when he came back, got back. It's a very, very poignant essay on that, on that day when he came back, is how much money will I get, say. And he told him, it's, 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 can I have a, an advance now? Oops. And they're all full of people, and I, there's no whisper. Okay. You, know, you realize there's a desperation now. But God, what an asset he was in that film. As an assistant, he was indispensable to me. And from then on, of course, then the journey, the Kundan journey continues, you know. His cinema stars. Then we become part of the television serials, you know. We do look called Nintazar and Manoranjan and Circus and Patnikyaka, the police station, which got banned by the government of India. All kinds of things we did. They, they, they did uh, then uh, carry, uh, allow the telecast of a edited uh, version of the police. Uh, police station, yeah. The, it, is a, it is a watered down version. And Kundan, uh, Kundan agreed to it with very reluctantly, very, very reluctantly. He says, we can recover, because we spent a portion on it. So, censorship then, censorship now, what's the difference? You can say quite a few things at that, you could say quite a few things at that time. It was allowed. Here, here you are, you're dealing with a regime which believes it's ordained divine, divinely ordained, infallible. There's a problem with it then. When you have this perception of yourself and you will not tolerate any kind of 
criticism because you think you're perfect. The problem with that. Also, you know, Babri was a moment which jolted you terribly. Yeah. Uh, it's very evident from the part in the book where you mentioned. But now, a lot of people would not have thought that there would be other mosques that would be uh, sort of targeted. It would be one after the other. What would what would your friend Kundan Shah have thought about Gyan Vyapi, uh, you know, coming under this kind like of... Like I told you when, he's, when, the, when, the, when, the, when the Gujarat program occurred, he actually told me, he said, I know, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm guilty. I said, Kundan, yeah, what have you got to do with it, you know? <laughs> You know, sir, you, 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 nobody's going to be held accountable. Somebody has to be held accountable. And I'm a Hindu and I'm accountable. Because of that. Yeah, and I, and I thought to myself, my God, this is the 21st century. He's reduced himself to being a Hindu and I've been reduced to being a Muslim. What a tragedy because this is supposed to be the age of, of rationality and reason. What have, we, what, what have we become? Where the hell have we reached? Where the hell has this country reached? But do you think he's also, in a sense, uh, there's a grain of truth to what he says? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, we move backwards. And therefore, when he thought, thought of this, you know, you have, you have a constitution with his lofty ideals and lofty perceptions about equality and, and justice and equity. Look where we've reached, look where we've gone. And to me, that's it. Travesty of the world. So either the the we don't deserve the constitution, mm -hmm. or the constitution doesn't deserve us. You said, I think, in a lecture earlier this year, that the values of the constitution are being eroded. Yeah. What did you mean? What do a lot of people mean when they say the values are being eroded? Do we need a different? Do we need to change something in this constitution? No, because when you when you talk about justice and equality and freedom, these are lofty words, powerful words. What does freedom mean? Freedom to abuse, of course, but the freedom to think differently. That's important. And that's critical. The freedom to dissent, that's critical. It doesn't matter if you agree or disagree, but to allow things to be said, to me that's critically important. And also the fact, the fact that when you talk about equality, it should be manifest clearly and it's not. It's a very incredibly unequal country today. Incredibly unequal. So what are these words that we've used in the constitution? And freedom and dissent and uh, justice. Justice, for God's sake, let's go see it. This Babri Masjid, Ramjan Bhumi ke justice, finally delivered by the Supreme Court of India. What is the justice? What is the judgment? If you look at judgment was that the demolition of the mosque was illegal. That's right. What did they Supreme. It's a crime. This is the Supreme Court. What are they the, 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 the presumption that it was built over the ruins of a temple, not substantiated at all. Three, the appearance of those little idols out there were manufactured and fake. And yet, it goes to the demolition squad. That's, that's called justice. It's putting <laughs> law on its head. And it's accepted. That's where we are at. It's the theater of the absurd. It is absurd. And what do you do with it? You, you, can you counter it? Because that's a, that's a Supreme Court justice. It's, it's a the highest court of the land. How do you 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 fight it? And it's not just this. Little details like. Picking up an ordinary citizen and taking him to a police station. You know what it means? You and I will survive it. But if you're poor and if you're disenfranchised in a sense, if you happen to be just, I have to pay. 
in any police station across the, across the country. So this lovely little girl scout, Kiran Bedi, who works around, you know, police forces, you know, yeah. does she know what the, oh, the stench is emanating from all those police stations from across the country? Does she smelt it or not? The torture, the mayhem, let loose on ordinary citizens, the beatings. Is she not aware of that? And I'm not saying now, over time, it's been happening over years and, you know, and she is part of that force. Right. And she pretends to be above it. What kind of land is she living in? So, so you, you were talking about the constitution, I think, when we just got interrupted because of the sun in our eyes. So, so do we need to change something in it? The constitution exists. We've got to live up to it or live down to it. I don't know. Because, you know, is it a valid document? Because I, Is it valid for India? Because here is a, 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 it's a document which tells the people of India and the world what is this country all about. So we're telling ourselves this is what we are or want to be and to the world this is what we want to be, want to, want to achieve. Now the point is, is what we want to achieve valid for a country that's primarily patriarchal, feudal, and uh, modern in quotes. So, so you have ancient, medieval, modern, all living simultaneously side by side, and you've got a constitution, which is poetry. Now, what do you do? Can you achieve it? Is it something we're going to work towards? Is it achievable? Or have we stretched ourselves too thin? to be able to act on it, act on the, on the constitution. These, these are questions we need to ask. Uh, the, as itself, it's fantastic as a, as, as a document. Are we able as a country, as a, as, a, as, as a, do we have the character as a nation to match it? And I think, I think we are sorely lacking, sorely lacking. And that's, that's the truth. Solely lacking right now or were always somewhere? All of, this is not, it's been happening over the past 30 years. It's only been accentuated and speeded up now. So, so talking about speeding up, how has the Bombay film industry changed? I know that they were great actors in the past who actually took out rail marches and you know, uh, marched We're against engaged with, uh, yeah, communalism yeah. and, yeah, yeah. you know, took on issues. Why doesn't a Amitabh Bachchan or a anybody in the Khans do that today? Uh, what has happened? A good question. <laughs> There's an incredible amount of fear across this country. Should we Dare be afraid? Hai, hai. But should we be afraid? Uh, if you don't mind going to jail, you shouldn't be afraid at all. The problem is, there's a fear of incarceration, the fear of lack of justice. You'll be shoved away and the keys thrown away. Mm. There are young young people I know who are in jail right now, charges of sedition. But it won't be for the first time for India's. From 1850s, this, you know, ye silsila chal raha hai. So then, then, therefore, therefore, we haven't changed from 18. Therefore, that's why the constitution was set in. It would not happen. It could never happen again. It guaranteed that it could never happen. The rights of citizens were guaranteed in the constitution. It's all been overthrown. So therefore, it's tough. It's tough to deal with. And the thing is, Pragya, you and I belong to a certain milieu, a certain social level that we will, we will, we will survive. We will survive because we are part of the ruling elite in a sense. 90% of the people aren't. What happened to them? What's going to happen to them? And that's where the, 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 where the real issue lies. And therefore, therefore, there's anger, there's frustration, and there's the need to get ahead in life. They've all seen the good life on television. A hunger to get 
somewhere. And that energy, how will it be channelized? How will it be used? And that's my, that's my fear. Of course, it's too politics. And therefore, what it will be used will be anger against people. You single out. You need the other now. Because nothing else is happening at the, on, the, on the economic front. You need the other. You need to point out the other. Unki wajasi. It's classic fascism, yaar. Point out the Jew. Point out the communist. Point out, I don't know, the Slav as a race. Point out the black. You know, point out the, you know. These are, these are classic weaponization of, of uh, identities. And you weaponize it. And you think, and it works for some time. The question is for how long? What can cinema do? What can art do? Art when can, the... art can, uh, art can, can okay, can't provide, art, uh, we're not giving you change. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, this is my phone. It's yes. also allowed. It's cinema, very, allowed. It's cinema, cinema, very thin. People who come from Bombay allowed cinema, everything. Cinema, cinema, very thin. Who is this? Narendra Modi. <laughs> Hello. Shifali Azab, I'm in I'm in I'm in I'm in a, in, a, in, a, in an interview right now. I mean I I I'll I'll call you back. Okay, bye. 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 Oh wonderful. Okay, bye, 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 bye. Okay, bye. It wasn't Mr. Modi. What I do thought, you think about Mr. Modi? I don't and think of him. Mr. Uh, Amit Shah. I don't think about them. Sure, but you have a view. No, my view is very simple. They are, I think, uh, uh, sorry again, this is cinema where they allowed, allowed for your thing, it doesn't matter. It's, it makes it more real, real, actually, sorry. What, what do you I, think about them? I, I think uh, they are pompous, arrogant. They believe they're infallible. They think they've got, you know, uh, the power behind them to do what they want. Not realizing, actually, it's like a balloon. Once the air comes out, it just, it'll come out. When you f you're so full of yourself, you're so full of yourself. Problem. So you've dealt with characters. How do you become like, like? Have you ever imagined a character so? Every fascist is full of himself. They've got God on their side, yar. Right. Okay. Bethe is sort of Bhagwan ya Allah ya is sort of hai to wap. Can't forget that. Yes. So how can they be wrong? So can cinema deal with these situations? No, cinema should deal for its for its own sake. Deal with it. A situation which you in which you are, cinema can't bring about change, but cinema can help towards, I think, a questioning process. Correct. That's all. To expect cinema to cause a revolution, no way. Don't don't try it. It's that, that, that that's what the young man thought at your conference yesterday. Yeah, and he, they, I, I, I like the young man, but cinema doesn't bring doesn't bring about a revolution. Cinema can bring about a, a, a kind of it, it can be help in terms of molding. But in terms of change, it has to come from people and the, I think, the electoral pro process, which is tough. It'll happen. Would you consider making a film on India of today? No, I'm not interested. If, I, 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 do, I do through my books. But if you were to make a film, can you describe the title you might imagine for it? You know, I was... Bazi Dega Kutte, Bullesha. Is that correctly ascribed Bulli, to him? Bulli, Bulli ka hai, ka, ah. ka hai, hai, baazi kutte. Ab, he said civilization is a very is a very fragile thing. Right. Don't blink. Varna baazi nahi jayenge kutte. Jee. Jaage, ah. ra ra karte. Ah. So, ba, so this is the problem. And uh, yeah. So let's. We have to redefine, reclaim our republic. It has to be reclaimed. Because there's a very incredible nobility in the thought of, of the constitution. It's a very noble document. A lot of poetry in it. 
primarily for the weaker sections of society, primarily for them. It's for them. It's got to be reclaimed. And it has a dignity in it for ordinary citizens. Which to me is, that's what the poetry is really all about. You and I are fine, yeah. It's, it's, it's to provide dignity to the ordinary citizen too. And to work towards it. That's what the journey is all about. All right. And thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome, young lady. News click or ICF ke saath jodne ke liye bahut shukriya.